Yes, this not, is Board not Member hearing. Earl. Board Member Earl. Yeah, um, I'm just asking that as, as at least Chip, as you're hearing and seeing things, if you can just send quick email or text message to us, just so we are informed of the things that you're involved in too. I just, I'm feeling a little disconnected. If that's, I, I'm not sure if that's something more I need to be doing on my part, but I just, I'm just feeling as a doer, and and that is what I am too. I just want to be on top of what's going on. So I, if there's anything that you feel like we need to be familiar with, um, please, I would I would love okay. the no contact. Please. All right, I can and I can take that Karen, challenge on. I go ahead. Chair Chair Hansen, Carol Lear. Yes, um, yes, Board Member Lear. Uh, to second Jenny's request, I I would also like that. I know that puts a burden on board leadership and the staff, but um, I would really especially like to keep up to date um, as much as possible with what's happening with HB 332, uh, the voucher bill. Okay, we have we have Jeff. That's um, I definitely can enroll. Um, Jeff, in part of this communication, I'll collaborate with with Brittany. Thank we'll make sure we'll give brief, more brief updates um, as this is going forth. I know that the superintendent and other people are sending some things out, but uh, I don't have a, a challenge or a problem of trying to update as we go. And so, um, those updates it's really important as it, as we put those out to please watch. I like to route everything through Miss Lorraine. And so it'll come through Miss Lorraine, but um, it'll it'll be from leadership. So we can definitely do that, and, and then we'll kind of sort out the highlights or some of the big rocks that are that are happening that are might be lost in a lot of those other communications that are coming from USBE staff. So I'm I'm good to do that. Laura Belknap here. Other? Yes. Um, um, Member Bell. I just want to bounce off Carol. I just want to bounce off Carol there, and and just say I think if we want to work on this and and watch as it co comes down the pipe, that we should be spending some of our time and and political collateral on talking to our legislators, either ones we know well or ones that are in our area, and letting them know um, as it unfolds what we think about it. Agreed. Oh. Thank you. Okay, I think we can, we, we've already taken a position on that one house bill, 332, and as it evolves into something else and that, we definitely can keep the board abreast of that, the, the progress that's happening there. There's there's some other interesting things that are gonna happen over the next period of time within the legislature, because uh, this is new to them, so um, I, I, as leadership, but we'll take that on and and as things are coming and going, we'll keep the board abreast of it. There's one concern that I have as we put this out, that as soon as we start a big dialogue back and forth with um, with our board members, um, it constitutes an open, the Open Meeting Act, the way that I see it. So I'm really, really careful, want to make sure we're careful uh, on direction. If somebody, if we need to have a board meeting, we're gonna have a board meeting. And so we'll give you plenty of notice. We we're experienced, we know how to get on a WebEx if it gets back up, or we know how to get on the phone and we know how to give notice. So there's a, there's a lot of interesting things and challenging things that might be ahead of us over the next couple of weeks. So I I think we're all up for the challenge and um, we'll, we'll need your help with it. So thank you for that input. Anything else for me? Okay, member, board member comments. I, I can't see you raise your hand, so if somebody wants to come on and just state your name and then um, I'll, I'll recognize you. Brittany Cummins. Okay, Vice Chair Cummins. <clears throat> I just wanted to um, just publicly thank all the parents and teachers who've reached out to us over the last couple of weeks with their concerns about how things are going. Uh, in their homes with their students and we recognize how difficult 
this time is for everyone and all the individual needs that everyone has and encourage them to speak with their teachers and their local schools and um, LEAs. And also, um, I have to say I was slightly distracted today. I've been checking emails from my students at school and I received a message from one of them and he said, this is a rough time, but we'll be all right and we'll be back stronger. And I just think that <clears throat> it's a difficult time for everyone and we'll get through it and we will be stronger because of it. But that doesn't mean that it's not difficult and we're having a hard time dealing with this. Okay. Um, thank you, Vice Chair Cummins. Any other board member comments that they wanna make at this time? Well, seeing none, um, that concludes everything on our agenda. It doesn't require a motion to adjourn. So this, I'll make the call this meeting. Uh, again, don't forget what we, tomorrow we have committee meetings and um, pay attention to those schedules. And for a lot of you, I'll see you tomorrow. So this meeting is adjourned. Thank you.